Disturbing accusations tonight against a Brookline restaurant owner charged with hiding a camera for years in his restaurant's bathroom. And today we learned that restaurant owner was already facing charges of child rape. And while investigating that crime, police discovered this hidden camera. WBZ's Christina Hager is live for us in Brookline tonight with the very latest on the case. Christina? Well, David, these accusations are especially disturbing for the customers who frequent this restaurant. It is a popular spot, and investigators say this has been going on for at least three years. The kosher Chinese restaurant Tam China closed after owner Zay Chung appeared in Brookline District Court facing more than a dozen new counts. The man who already faced child rape charges now accused of secretly planting at least two cameras in a restaurant bathroom. Detectives discovered what looked like secret recordings of numerous women in various states of undress using the toilet. Court documents say he allegedly edited 15 videos taken on this list of dates from 2015 to 2018. Only women and mostly an employee he dated years ago. But it was the middle bathroom used by both staff and customers, which has people who've been here, like Aaron Sal, thinking back. It just made me so angry and then just disgusting. This just could happen. Are yeah. you thinking back to yourself? Did I, I go to the yeah, bathroom? That's what I'm thinking. Did I went to the bathroom? Or I think I did, but I don't know when is to happen. And Police found the videos on Chung's phone and iPad when they were investigating the child rape case that surfaced last month at his home in Weston. That alleged victim, someone he knew, found images of herself exposing her nudity also on his devices and a hidden camera inside her bathroom. Chung's sister defended him at the restaurant. It's a surprise to me. I think this is somebody set up. Chung's attorney said his family already scraped together all their money to post the $100,000 bail on that previous child rape charge from last month. He's also wearing an electronic monitoring bracelet. In that case, today the judge set bail at $7,500. In Brookline, Christina Hager, WBZ News.